What is going on guys? It is like 4.30 a.m. in the morning. I just woke up, literally just woke up. I hop on YouTube, I do my usuals, take a piss and everything. Uh, and I see that they finally announced what the new Dragon Ball Z mobile game will be. Now, if you remember a video that I dropped a couple, maybe like a week ago, I should say, dropped a video saying top three new Dragon Ball Z mobile games coming. This is one of them, but we didn't have anything official. We didn't have a name, gameplay or anything. We now have all the information. We have the name of the game being Dragon Ball Legends. So I haven't seen the video. I haven't seen this here. Uh, this is the announcement. This is what they're going to be showing us. I don't know what the game is about, but we're going to look at this. And I'm going to do my uh, breakdown of it as we watch it together. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. And let's check this out. Without further ado, I give you... Right off the bat, Dragon Ball that's a very Legends. cool logo. I love that logo. Title, uh, of, uh, mobile app that will be released in 2018. And as okay, you can see on the screen, the gameplay will be in 3D, heavily action-oriented, and also... We're 3D gameplay, heavily action-oriented. That's what I want. So, I actually went on Twitter for a second, and I see... People are saying that this is already going to replace Dokkan. Um, I haven't seen enough to have an opinion about it. People are saying that this is going to be Dokkan 2, Dokkan, 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 Dokkan's dead now. I don't know about all that, but I mean... You know, you got a PvP game that's 3D gameplay. I mean, that's a good start. So, boy. Pretty excited to talk about it today. We made sure that the my details and everything are all fine-tuned so that it's okay, exactly what the Dragon Ball fans wanted on a mobile app. Okay. So, one of the biggest features that we have for this game, actually, is the global real-time player versus player on Cloud Ooh, Network. Ooh, nice. Real-time player versus players. Ooh. So, this is... Global real time. So this is very heavily PvP oriented. I like that. So there's an actual PvP aspect to this game, which is what Dokkan is missing. So, you know, wow, that, that's, that's interesting. The only PvP thing we have that's Dragon Ball Z right now, I mean, Dragon Ball Fighters, I guess. So we don't have anything mobile that's, you know, I guess multiplayer. You, you don't have that for uh, Dragon Ball Z, but this game is uh, doing it right. So good stuff so far. So let me uh, say that one more time. It's uh, the character icons. If those are the actual character icons in the actual game, then you know that's pretty nice. You know, it looks uh, pretty slick. Global. It's real time, and it is actually player versus player. It's we're not going to muck around with uh, by providing pseudo experiences of player versus player, where players fight other player datas. It's not going to be like that. We'll actually have the players be fighting one on one, anywhere, anytime. Nice, good shit. So uh, you know what? To give you a really good idea as to what it'll be like. We're actually going to have a live demonstration between two hey, points. Okay. And now we can see a little a bit of the gameplay here. Um, well, not really. We can see pictures, uh, but they're kind of zoomed out uh, you know, a little bit. But, I mean, you know, the point is what they're trying to do is that you can play wherever you are in the world. So this is, once again, heavily PvP-oriented, which is beautiful. That's something that a Dragon Ball Z mobile game needs. If you're going to drop anything in today's day and age, you better incorporate PvP because... Yes, it's fun to grind the story. Yes, it's fun to do all the in-game content. But uh, when all that is completed, you know, it's like you're probably going to want to play with your friends. You're probably want to probably going to raid with your friends. If that element isn't incorporated in the game, then you know, most likely it's probably going to get boring if content isn't fresh, like Dokkan. Dokkan survives off of releasing banners and new units and keeping the hype alive. But beyond that, I mean, like, what do we have in Dokkan? You know, there's no PvP, there's no rating system, so it's completely single player which is you know sucks <laughs> all right in here moscone center where keigo will be playing against another team member of ours that is currently in japan our uh, wow. tokyo headquarters okay. actually so um i just copy and pasted the google map actually but you, as you can see there's 5100 miles apart oh yeah that's uh, ayaka that's one of our team. okay so that's their uh you know player right there uh, right away, we can see a little bit of structure. So we have player one versus player two. Okay, I gotcha. Uh, the icons down below, you know, can I actually... Is that Super Saiyan God Vegeta? What? Yo, the second icon uh, to the right. Wait, is that your right or my right? Wait, I don't even know. Uh, I believe that'll be your... Anyways, whatever. <laughs> that kind of looks like a redhead, red hair Vegeta. Oh, whatever. I don't know. I think members and uh, so she's currently in Tokyo go. right now. The rights. Oh, interesting. Did, did you guys see that little piece there? Okay, let me back up a little bit. Back up a little bit. So notice the first screen 
being the screen right there, the closest screen to me, that's in English, okay? The second screen all the way to the far side of the screen, that's in Japanese. They're going to combine both the global and the Japanese servers, apparently, right? Look at this, like, that's awesome. So, there's no, there's really no global version in English version. I mean, technically there is, but that's translations alone. Because you have two players playing PvP together, but it's in different languages. That's busted. I like that. Let's go. Screen is her uh, mobile app screen. Left screen is Kago's, cool and stuff. I would okay. appreciate it if the audio was played in the background a little bit louder. Yes, thank you. Okay, so the game itself nice is like one on one, but uh, each player can bring up to three playable characters. The objective of the game is to defeat the opponent's three characters before the opponent. So you can bring teams of three. So okay, that's a bit of a nerf compared to Dokkan, but I mean that's fine. Like you know. Yeah, it's fine. All right, and they're both ready. So, uh, thanks to Google's uh, cloud networking, we managed to create a really stable uh, playing field where users don't really need to worry about internet connection, latency, or whatnot. All they need to worry about is the opponent that's going to be in front of them on the well, screen. That's cool. So, yeah, they're using the Google Cloud right. to connect. It okay, gotcha. Seems you. like the game connected, and no Google Cloud. cloud. Oh, there we go. Thank God. Ooh, clean, clean! Ah, yo, look at that, man. Yo, just the intro of how they, like, I guess, go up in the air, man. Like, that's nice. And it's like, uh, it's above the earth. Like, I like the background. Yo, I like, I haven't even seen the fighting mechanic or anything. And I'm, I'm ready digging this. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay. the game started right now. Left screen is Kago. Uh, he will Ooh, probably not uh, what? show off some of the cool cutscenes that each character has. But... It's heavily action oriented, but in actuality, the controls are quite simple. We made sure that it's intuitive, Whoa! and we made sure that. Uh, Dude, can... Oh my god, this is actually lit! This is lit! Oh! Who wants an action game on Dragon Ball can play other players without this having to worry about getting their butt hand handed to them. Bro, so, this is actually uh, as lit. You can see, Ayaka just activated her uh, special skill. The four cards that can be seen on the bottom of the screen, those are uh, okay. universal cards that each player has. And whenever you tap them, the character will so automatically the do an... So the cards on the bottom are pretty much your super attack. So you have your basic key blast. I guess you have your uh, secondary super attack, your, th your third uh, super attack, and then I guess you have your final super attack. So down below, as you can see, there's certain cards that are available to you. And once they're available, then boom, you can go ahead and click them and, you know, launch key or whatever. Uh, but in the meantime, you can actually move with your finger on the screen, tapping at the same time to then attack and whatnot. Uh, pretty cool. It looks to be like a dashing mechanic as well, so you can actually dash out of the way of the opponent. So that's pretty cool as well. So if you're going to have a game like this, make sure you can dash. Make sure because bird charge, I'm just saying. <laughs> Right. Action oriented to that specific card. You can switch out. And each character will have something different. For example, you tap the red card, you can do a melee attack. You tap the yellow card, you can do a okay, long so range. And the blue you have melee attacks, you have long range attacks, you have special attacks. Pretty much what I said, yeah, pretty much. So that's pretty cool stuff. So uh, each character has these abilities, but of course, the super attack animation and everything is unique to that specific character. Like, you're not going to see free to do a Kamehameha. So, you know, like, we, we saw Piccolo earlier do a special beam cannon. So that's awesome. It's fire. Blue one is a special attack, and also by tapping them consecutively, the character will automatically. Ooh, you can do uh, co what? combos! What? Yo, you can do combos. So, do this game has combos, Bruh, Chill, chill. It combos. So, oh, just like right now, actually, it's a special cutscene right now, and uh, it looks really complex when you clean. First see it, honestly. But, Dude. Oh my god. <laughs> that was clean. <laughs> yeah, see, she had no choice. That was so clean, my people. What? Yo. Okay, first impressions. Obviously, I'm, I'm digging the game. Like, obviously, my expressions and, you know, what I'm looking at right now, I am definitely digging the game. The fighting mechanic, though, you can actually move for one. You can actually tap the um, options of how you attack to create your own combos. What? Uh, it looks like you can dash. Like it looks like there's a dashing mechanic based on what I was seeing from the uh, from the players. 
So I saw the character dashing, so I assumed that, you know, if you, like, swipe fast or whatever, if, you're, if you, like, double tap or whatever, you can potentially dash dash. So that could be a thing in the game as well, which is, you know, dashing mechanics in the game in games are pretty cool because that's how you avoid, you know, attacks and everything, right? So that's um that's pretty helpful as well. Uh, PvP, amazing. At this point, of course, we don't know what the story mode is. Uh, we don't know if there's a gacha game system. Most likely, there will be a gacha game system because it's a mobile game. All games these days will have some kind of gacha element to it, so we can expect there be some kind of summoning aspect. We haven't seen that as yet, or if there's another trailer, I don't know about it, but based on what I'm seeing here, uh, there's a lot of things we don't know. We, we don't know about the story mode and everything. We don't know the character limitation. Obviously, the game just coming out, so they can't drop every single character under the sun right, up, right off the bat. They're definitely gonna be up. They're gonna definitely gonna hold off characters so uh, they can slowly release content over time because that's how you're gonna you know have the game uh, have its longevity. But you know right away just from that alone, the PvP gameplay, the look of the characters, the fighting mechanic for me it is Gucci my boy. I like that. I'm actually digging this. So am I a fan? From what I from what I'm seeing, I like it. Uh, my only critique, I guess I don't, do I even have a critique? Do I even, do I have a negative to this game? Do I have a con to this game right now? My only thing that I don't like is that this game isn't available right now. <laughs> Literally just, it's going to be available in a little bit, but I like really, I can't really think of anything that's negative, honestly. Um, everything seems to look very freaking smooth, so I can't say anything bad. I, I can't find anything to say bad about it. Wow. So, the uh, live stream should actually be, I believe it's in a couple hours. There's actually going to be, or is this a live stream? I'm not sure. This could have been the live stream. I don't even know, man. But uh, I know there's supposed to be a live stream. Uh, this, I don't think this was it. If it is, and I apologize. But uh, nonetheless, guys, you know, very excited stuff. I think the actual release schedule for this game is now like a day or something. So, does it drop in a day? What? Anyways, guys. Subscribe for more content and coverage on this new mobile game. You guys can hear my opinion here, what I think and what I, you know, and get all the news and everything right here on the Anime Muscle YouTube channel, guys. Make sure to subscribe, like, share, comment down below. Definitely comment down below as to what you think about the game so I can actually know if you guys are excited about it, if you guys are hype about it. Uh, I definitely, I'm, I'm interested in playing the game. It looks uh, hella fun. I can actually play with my friends and I can actually... Uh, you know, fighting everything with you guys. So uh, we can have like, you know, live streams and everything. Yo, it's going to be fire, fire. It's going to be fun, guys. So anyway, so thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.